wow, so high. So, is there anything? Is there anyone? Is there anyone online? No. Yes, yeah, someone is online. Uh, Why you need so tall? Huh? Cannot reach. Yeah, cannot reach. See who is online? So many people online already. Hi. Say what? Hello. Hey. Hi everyone. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to watch us. Hello Simon and Annie from Auntie Christine. See Auntie Elizabeth from uh, Sydney also watching. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Can I hear you? Hello. Hi. Um, today, as promised, uh, we don't have any school today. It's a public holiday. And uh, that's why um, Simon is uh, choosing a recipe to cook for everyone. Okay, so um, we have decided to make cookies. Cookies! Uh, we have decided to make cornflakes and chocolate chip cookies, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, last night I have already given all the recipes, I mean all the ingredients that you need to make the chocolate chip conflict cookies, okay? Uh, so, shall we start? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's take a look at what we need. I have here a block of butter, 250 gram. Uh, which is at room temperature. I've taken it out since this morning, so it's pretty soft already. So we are going to add in 200 gram of sugar. Oh yeah, oh. Okay. And then we will, we will mix this for 3 minutes at speed 4. Only Simo pretty ah, huh? Mm. Miss Alice Maxiuquan, only Simo is pretty, is it? Go. Three minutes, speed four. This one first. Okay, so two hundred and fifty gram of room temperature butter, mixed with um two hundred gram of sugar, and we are going to mix this for three minutes at speed four. Okay. So today, let's talk a bit about um, the accessories. This is actually a present from uh, one of my BFF, uh, Susan. Okay, she sent me this on uh, Mother's Day. So I, I, I'm not an accessory person, but anyway, um, I'm going to wear it today to uh, to to say thank you to her for having the heart to send me a present for Mother's Day. Okay. So we are mixing 250 gram of room temperature butter with how, how much sugar? 200 gram. 200 gram of sugar for? For 3 minutes. For 3 minutes at? Speed 4. Speed 4, yes! Okay, now uh, we need to prepare a baking tray with... Um, I use I always use baking cloth. Let's talk a bit about this baking cloth. This is not paper, yeah. This is not paper. This is actually cloth. You see, this is actually cloth, and this is reusable. Okay, this is reusable. Um, it can last you easily one year at least. And every time you wash it, every time you wash the cloth, you don't. You don't squeeze out the water. You just hang it as it is like that. Just hang it as it is like that. Okay? So this is a reusable baking cloth that I will use every time I bake. Only to line baking pan or baking tray. To bake cakes, I will use baking paper. Otherwise, I will use this type of reusable baking cloth. Now, this cloth is recommended when you want to make things like um, uh, fortune cookies, uh, when you want to make things like twills, okay? Um, because it doesn't stick. Even the brownie brittle, the recipe with I have shared and many of you made brownie brittle, 
I use this type of baking cloth, okay? So um, don't use baking paper if you want to make the fortune cookie recipe. That is from my volume 4, okay? Don't use baking paper, it will stick. When you are making things like twills or almond florentines, uh, you use baking baking cloth, okay? It will peel out easily. Otherwise, you can always use silicone mat. I got this from um, I got this from baking shop. You can always get this online as well. Now, this lockdown period, I believe everyone's uh, lifestyle have no matter how whether they like it or they don't like it have changed okay everyone knows how to buy things online already okay so um, you can get this from baking shop or online so this is after you want to show oh this is after how long already Yes, then? SP4. SP4, okay. What is inside? Butter and sugar. Okay, how much butter, how much sugar? Uh, I don't know butter. 250 gram of room temperature butter with 200 gram of sugar mixed for 3 minutes at speed 4, okay? Now, put back. Then we will add in one egg. Crack the egg, please. Hey, cup is it? Ah, you know. Is it uh, fresh? Okay. So now add in the eggs. Come, you have hit cup, drink water. Okay. Add in one egg. <laughs> yes, like baking test. Uh, then we add in a quarter teaspoon of uh, the baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and uh, salt. I forgot how much salt, maybe half a teaspoon. But you can always refer to the ingredients list which I have given to you, okay? A quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of uh, baking soda, okay? So add in. And a bit of salt. So um, squeeze in some vanilla. We are going to squeeze in some vanilla. So, and a 300 gram of cake flour. Now, if you do not have cake flour, you can use multi-purpose flour or plain flour instead. 300 gram slowly, yeah. Alright. So now, we are going to Mix this for 10 seconds at speed 4. Now it will not be thoroughly mixed but we can always fold it with a spatula later on. What? Okay. seconds at speed 4 okay so after we mix the butter and the sugar for 3 minutes at speed 4 we add in um, 300 gram of cake flour 
if you do not have cake flour, what can we use? Multi-purpose flour. Yes, multi-purpose flour and, or corn flour. Uh, we have an egg here as well. A bit of vanilla essence. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a bit of salt. Okay, so now um, this is after 10 seconds at speed 4. So we are going to mix this around. Just briefly fold it in. You want to eat. Okay, then we are going to add in this 100 gram of corn flakes. We put in a mixing bowl and let her crush it first. Okay, Mimi, can you crush the. Uh, yeah, with your hands. Good morning, Serafina. Right. So we are not using any gloves, yeah? less plastic, less disposable items. We are cooking at home, we will use our hands. I will put in, I will I will scoop out all the batter, the cookie, the cookie dough batter into the, the mixing bowl. You may? Yeah. Can you um wait, okay, I will do this. Can you, okay, you go and wash your hand. So we will remove all the cookie dough. Um I will tilt the camera so that you can see. Is that okay? Yeah, something dropped on the floor. Hi, Valerie. So let me tilt the phone a little so that you can see. Later on, I will explain a bit about the baking powder and the baking soda and, and, and other ingredients that I use today, okay? So let's, let's tilt the camera so that you are looking at it now. Right, everyone can see, right? So, we are going to take out the cookie dough from the mixing bowl, from the TM bowl into the mixing bowl. What? Yummy! Yummy. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ask because. Uh, I will show you how to pinch the cookie dough into the baking tray later. And I will explain why I do it that way. So, uh, did anyone... Have a very good Mother's Day yesterday. Your children pamper you, cook for you, massage you, treat you, buy you flowers, buy you chocolates, bake you cakes. Mimi, what did you did, did for mommy yesterday? I made angel food cake. Angel food cake. She made a angel food cake with what? Uh, dark chocolate frosting. Dark chocolate frosting. Following whose recipe? You want to show them your cookbook? Wait, I don't get it. Okay, she is going to show you the cookbook I got for her for her birthday. It's her idol. She likes this uh, celebrity YouTuber a lot. I know some of you are cooking along now with your children and uh, it's only public holiday here in Malaysia I don't know what ho pub what public holiday it is but um, anyway they don't have school right later you show you show all the aunties and the cheches here your cookbook okay 
wait ah. Let mommy take out all the cookie dough first. You want to lick the spoon? Uh huh. Me and Jessica will do it. Okay, I think it's okay. Don't wash. Don't wash. Don't wash that. No, it. They have. It has raw flour, you know, and you still want to eat. We have magic stomach. Magic stomach can take raw flour. Every time we eat cookie dough, ma. Right. Never get tummy pain. Okay. So let's. Oopsie. Okay. She wants to lick this. Yummy. Yummy. Hang on. Salty. Salty. Yes. I love it. You love it. Okay. Now we are going to mix this. Meme, you want to mix? So mix this around. We have measured a uh, hundred gram of chocolate chips as well, and of course you can always use more chocolate chips, right? Please. Okay. Mix. Mix. You have to mix with your hand also. Okay. No. No. All right. All right. Someone asked me to repeat the ingredients and the steps. So we started by mixing 250 gram of butter at room temperature with 200 gram of sugar for 3 minutes at speed 4. Okay, then we add in 300 gram of cake flour or multi-purpose flour if you do not have cake flour. We add in 1 egg quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and I forgot how much salt. I think it's uh, one teaspoon of salt. Then we mix for, uh, oh yeah, and uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we mix for 10 seconds at speed 4. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. I can see your hair drop inside. How come my hair drop? That's not fine. It's too sharp. Okay, this is all. This looks okay. After mixing for 10 seconds at speed 4, when the flour, the egg, the baking powder, the baking soda, the salt, and the vanilla is in, we just fold it briefly with a spatula and then we dish out or tip off, tip out all the cookie dough into a mixing bowl. Okay? That has uh, 100 gram of cornflakes crushed. And we added in uh, 100 gram of chocolate chips as well. Okay? So now let's uh, show you how we are going to do this with our hands. I'll just show you a bit. So we will just, we will just pinch and drop pinch and drop see just pinch and drop i do not want you to roll it smooth okay this will give some air to the cookie because eventually when you bake them they will slightly flatten okay and it gives you the rustic tawny look to your cookie pinch and drop do not roll it do not flatten it, do not smoothen it, okay? You want to have the rustic, pointy, thorny look and this will give you an extra crunch because you you basically just drop, pinch and drop there is air in the cookie itself and when it bakes, the baking soda will, will work its magic so your cookie will be very crunchy and crispy, understand? Okay? So, um, we will carry on. And then you want to do it here so that I can, alright? You want to do it inside also, can? 
Okay, okay. Later you after you do, remember ah, uh, do not smoothen it. Okay, go inside and do. Give some space in between, alright? So, let's come back here. Alright, pinch and drop. Do not press. Do not smoothen. Alright, just pinch and drop. That's all. You want to have the airiness in the cookie so that it is extra crispy and crunchy. Okay, the original recipe actually calls for... Wait, let me see. The original recipe actually calls for 100 gram of um, cornflakes with 100 gram of almond, rough chop. But um, the kids don't like nuts, so they want to add in chocolate chips instead. Okay, so always remember, um, we want to have a, a, a rustic look to the cookies. We want it to look spiky, thorny, you know. Um, so you just pinch and drop. Do not roll, do not smoothen it, okay? You will, you will take off the air that is inside the cookie if you do that, okay? And uh, let's talk about the brands of uh, baking soda and baking powder that I use, okay? Now today, I, it's not easy to get ingredients, okay? I'm sure you all know nowadays. So today, I'm just using this um, chocolate, chocolate chip, what do you call it? Buttons, is it? dark carrots i'm using this today with a bit of leftover of chocolate chips this one looks a bit flat this one looks a bit flat like a button okay okay how long to bake uh i actually forgot because i will check but i will give you the i will give you uh, i will give you the timing later on but definitely it will be in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. 180, okay? 180 degrees Celsius. So if you have almonds, you can use almonds uh, with cornflakes. This is cornflakes cookies, okay? Now I am using baking powder from this brand. Okay? Baking powder and uh, baking soda. Okay? Um yeah you know um for those who have um, the tm6 uh, probably you have tried the honeycomb recipe where you cook the sugar caramel here at high high temperature and then you will add in a baking soda and the whole thing will bubble up right so now different brands of uh, baking soda will give you different results actually and uh, all this time, I have been using those, uh, those, <laughs> those baking soda brand that you use to uh, wash toilets or wash the floor. You know, you can find that brand of baking soda in an orange box in the hardware shop, as well as the baking soda in the bakery shop, in the supermarket, in the baking aisle okay baking ingredients out or or racks or whatever okay um but after i my friend told me i she 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 showed me her honeycomb and she said the whole thing expanded so fluffy so big i said hey what brand of baking soda you use ah huh? then she she my friend jasmine then she showed me i use this brand now huh? i use this brand Oh, I see this brand is very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. 20 over ringgit for one packet like this. But the thing is, the, the, the honeycomb expanded, you know. Then I realized, actually, um, the brand makes a difference. So, um, for baking, I think better stick to good brands. For, you know, baking soda gives the airiness to your, to your baking goods. So, um... 
from then on, whatever I bought from the, the baking soda that I, I, I bought, you know, the brand that people say, oh, this one can use to chuchi the toilet, lah. Can, can use to, <laughs> to wash the toilet. I stopped using that already. So I will just uh, use this brand of baking soda and baking powder. And uh, actually, it can last you a, a long time because it's a big packet. Even though it's expensive, but it's a big packet and uh, you don't need a lot, okay? Every time it's about half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon, okay? So, um, yeah. So, this is what I want to share with you about baking soda and uh, baking powder. So, sometimes uh, it's not some lay chop yong. Oh, kwai yi zao hou la. Kwai yi zao hai hou. But sometimes we do have to agree. Too cheap, uh, better don't buy. You're also scared. Don't know what quality it is. Okay, thank you. This scarf is actually, I'm not a, an accessory person, yeah. I, I'm always very simple and uh, yeah, but this is a gift, a Mother's Day gift from my BFF, Susan. She actually delivered this yesterday with a lot of yong tau fu for me to eat because, uh, you know, we, uh, four of us, Angeline, Susan, Catherine and myself, we have actually, uh, set an appointment to go and eat the best yong tau fu in KL before the lockdown and uh, looks like um, this appointment just got delayed and delayed and delayed and now our lockdown our MCO uh, movement control order has been extended further until June 9th so there is more time to stay in yeah okay more time to stay in now um you guys ask me uh what are the lives uh, or recipes that have prepared for you for this week um i'm not sure yet i'm not sure yet so um because yesterday was uh, even though it's mother's day it's pretty um it's still a lot of work for me to because there are a lot of orders book orders to fulfill so i actually didn't stop working okay i didn't stop working where is the best yong tau fu in kl um i wouldn't say it is best 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 but um it's a famous place uh it's in uh Sagambut. yeah it's in Sagambut. Uh, I, I have not been there, you see. Uh, we actually been there after a, a shopping spree at the crafts place in Malaysia. We went to bought um, lots and lots of baskets, uh, crafty things, uh, peanut basket, peanut bags. We, we went to this craft center in, in KL to, to shop because they, are, they were having an exhibition there and we it's all well planned after the shopping we want to take a take a, a grab uh to this yong tau fu place and when we arrive that stupid place <laughs> no don't say this that place is closed okay when we arrive that place is closed we wanted to ask the grab driver to 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 take us somewhere else but this grab driver she's also not very it literate or whatever you see he, uh, he said, um, I have to drop you off here and you have to book again using your apps. I cannot, uh, because I have uh, taken another um, another order to, to to fetch someone. So you have to get down even though the, that place is not open. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so hot that time. It was lunch hour and we were hungry. We were we were busy shopping. We have so much of bags, you know. Carry, you know, women when 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 we go out shopping in a group, it's a lot of things, okay. And the grab driver actually asked us to get down, okay, get down. And that your tofu place, tak jadi makan, cannot eat, it's closed, and we have to stand under the hot sun in the middle of the road and uh, go and book car again <laughs> to, to send us to another place anyway it was a fun day okay and um, and until that time from that time until now we still haven't really we still haven't have the chance to go out maka because it was locked down already anyway um have you done baby can you show no mind we can uh you you show me your your tray let me see yeah 
Ah, that's a very nice Xiong Tao Fu place with raw jack tofu, I was told. Yes, this is what she has done. Okay, we want to maintain, remember yeah, we want to maintain, just pinch and drop, pinch and drop. We want to maintain the spiky look to the cookies. This will give more air and a more crispiness when you bake. It will flatten a little, don't worry. It will flatten a, a little when you bake bake them okay so now we will bake this in a preheated oven for uh, a preheated oven 180 degrees celsius for how long i don't know yet uh, i will update you later um yeah i will update you later okay share what place the yong tau fu place someone can share actually i've not been there I, okay i i have not eaten there before the grab driver just asked us to run to run uh to run to run creator means uh get down from my car okay so uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah someone who knows the place please share anyway we are we cannot go out and eat uh, 180 my, I, my oven is the convection type is the old-fashioned type is over 15 years old uh, it doesn't comes with all this function fan or broiler or whatever it's just top and bottom heat okay so I'm going to put this in a preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius you this cookbook mommy yes ma actually uh, there's one kind auntie working in klcc she helps me to get this book from kino kunia for her okay uh she she wanted this cookbook for her birthday this is her idol she follows her very 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 closely on uh, on youtube so um yesterday she made the angel food cake but i mix and match yeah following this recipe she said she mixed and matched the 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 recipe when she baked the cake for me yesterday so she made the angel food cake from this recipe and she follows what and she follows the dark chocolate frosting from here so she make it mix and match okay who else is your idol other than uh Rose, well, Rosanna Panzino. She's a pretty girl, by the way. Rosanna Panzino is very pretty, huh? Very famous in YouTube. Who else? Rachel? Rachel Fong. Rachel Fong. Another one she likes is Rachel Fong. Yeah. Okay, so um, the cookies are baking now. Um, we will show you later on the bakes. And uh, now, um, since we have a bit of time, Maybe you can mark down now uh, is uh, what time and then I will show you What's the time now baby? Come, let me see Look at my watch Oh look at your watch Yeah, it's no 11.36 Now if the cookies are properly baked Okay uh, If the cookies are properly baked They will be very very crispy now how to properly bake a cookies? It is when it is completely cooked through, fully dehydrated so-called. Okay, but some people, like my elder daughter, she actually prefers cookies that are soft in the middle. She doesn't mind if it is chewy or soft in the middle. But this this little one, she wants it um, crispy all over like the crock, 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 that sound. So, um... Anyway, today we are going to make it very crispy. Of course, we are going to bake through it, bake it completely thorough. Okay, so um, we have talked about baking soda. We have talked about baking powder. We have talked about chocolates. I don't know much about baking actually. I don't know much about chocolates. Or I'm not a good baker. I just bake to to feed them. Okay, we have talked about vanilla. Where's the vanilla, baby? Keep already. There. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a, 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 a vanilla that I like, the brand. Uh, we, you can get it from Jaya Grocer, but um, you can also get it from Australia. This one is from Australia. 
It's exactly the same. It, uh, Jaya Grocer has it, okay? But uh, nowadays, it's very difficult to get ingredients, like I said. So, um, Rosanna Pansy, you know how to spell her name? Someone ask. R O S A N. Can you look? N O. R O? R O S A N N O. Rosanna, where you go? Oh, Rosanna or Rosanna? Eh, Rosanna. R O S N N A. R O S A N N A. R O S A N N A. Rosanna. Panzino? P A N S I N O. P A N S I N O. Yes. Don't need to crack your head. You ask the children, they will know. They know better than us, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You enjoy listening to me. Um, yeah, let's talk a bit about my cookbook. Today, the, the conflicts cookies is not in my cookbooks yet. Um, yeah, not in my cookbooks yet. And uh, this is a usual item. This cookie is a usual thing. Uh, not only during Chinese New Year. Even Papa makes it. Yeah, even Papa makes it. It's actually Papa's recipe, okay? So, uh, my, my mom's recipe. So, um, yeah, during Chinese New Year, we don't have a lot of uh, varieties of cookies. But we always have uh, these conflict cookies. We have um, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, we have pineapple jam tarts. Uh, Quay Kapi, we will buy. A lot of things we will buy. But um, pineapple jam tart, we will always make at home. Okay, always make at home with this... Uh, uh, conflict cookies, uh, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, we don't we don't have a lot of varieties of cookies. There's only a few types that the children likes. So those that we don't make, then we will buy. Yeah. So um, is this recipe is not um, it's shared before during Chinese New Year. Um, it's not in any of my cookbooks. So um, let's talk a bit about my cookbooks because I have got a lot of inquiries actually to to uh, recommend which cookbook to buy if you only want to buy one. Um, if you ask me to recommend, I will always uh, say get the volume one first. This is the volume one. This is the first cookbook that I wrote five years ago. Okay, this is the first cookbook. Uh, why? I always ask you to start with a uh, first cookbook because there are a lot of good recipes, okay? Um, there are some recipes that have been made over and over and over again by so many people around the world, okay? Like the homemade chicken nuggets. So many mummies have made before homemade chicken nuggets. And then this very easy um, char siu, the Chinese BBQ pork, also have been made repeatedly by mums around the world. Um, this savory glutinous rice as well, many people make. Some likes the yam kui. Some likes the wu tao ko. Okay. Some likes the bak ko. Where is it? The chui kui, the rice, this one. Some likes this one. I mean, if you are a Chinese living in Malaysia, these are the... Um, childhood recipes that you cannot run away from uh, many cook this before the pork rib noodles in fact i think the singapore team uh, always cook the yi fu min using the sauce mixture from this book all right so um there are so many good recipes this is good as well this thai spicy minced pork Okay, this is good as well. And this is also a very, very famous recipe that have been cooked repeatedly by moms around the world. The Kyoto pork ribs. Alright. Um, of course, there's chicken rice, Thai panang pork curry, Portuguese coconut chicken, the Taiwanese pork stew rice, a luro fan. Uh, braised chicken with yam, braised chicken with potatoes, uh, the stir fry ginger whiskey chicken, the butter egg yolk prawn, uh, baby French beans with salted egg yolks. There are so many good recipes in this volume one alone. Okay, and many have made this hot uh, lor mai tong soy. 
Feng Shui. And the, what? The sago, what? This mango sago is their favorite. This mango sago is their favorite. Uh, yeah, so if you ask me which cookbook to recommend if you only want to buy one, of course I don't push you to buy all five, although um, many of you show very great support by buying all five books, but I respect your decision always. Um, if you only want to buy one, uh, I will always recommend you to start with the first cookbook because um, that's how I I, I teach. I'm, I'm not sure whether you will agree that I'm a good teacher or a bad teacher, but um, I will share with you uh, my opinion, you see. Um, after book one, I start to, um, this is book two, all right, this is book two. I will start to introduce um, some Western food, like the chicken pie. Many have uh, actually made the chicken pie, all right. I start to introduce um, a uh, big pasta in bechamel sauce um, and this one we have made so many times last time the Italian bread sticks what is this you call Harry Potter magical one so we have made this so many times okay uh, even the salmon quiche where's the salmon quiche yeah the salmon quiche is also from volume 2 so I give you something that is basic, okay? The quiche pastry, and uh, if you don't like salmon and spinach, you can always uh, change it to using sausage or bacon or chicken. You know, I I like to um, give you something basic, and then you will expand on it. Like the chicken pie, the dough is very famous because it's very easy to work with. Okay, so if you do not like um, chicken pie, you can make beef pie or curry whatever you 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 but i have given you the the basic pie dough recipe okay um this bbq pork bao is also very good okay um there are so many wonderful recipes in each book okay this butter marble cake non uh and then um coffee panna cotta so there are a lot of practical doable recipes uh, um, so many ask for discounts um, unfortunately or regretfully I just have to tell you that there are no discounts if you, even if you buy five books uh, volume 1 to volume 5 um, this cookbook has remained the same price for the past six years actually I have not increased the price and uh, there are so many inquiries <laughs> I have, frankly speaking, I have never bought a cookbook where I can ask the court, the author questions and get the questions answered. So um, I try my best, always, I, I always try my best to answer your questions um, in order not to waste your time, your, your ingredients. So perhaps this is a service. Um, I may not be all the time 24 hours stationed there to pick up calls and answer questions but I always try my best to help okay that is my volume 2 this is my volume 3 okay this is my volume 4 and this is the latest book volume 5 okay um, there are no recipes that are repeated in any of my cookbooks and uh, every cookbook comes with steps for Thermomix users and non-Thermomix users alright and uh, you can purchase my cookbooks from my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com do not forget to follow me on this page where you are watching the live now and join my groups to post your cooking adventure these two are the groups that you can join in Facebook and you can also watch the replay of my videos uh, on, in, uh, on YouTube and you can follow me on Instagram alright so um, yeah no recipes are repeated Thermomix or non Thermomix users can use the cookbooks um, it comes in dual languages uh, Chinese and English yeah so yeah i uh, sometimes uh 
I'm very thankful. Honestly, I'm very thankful to all the support. But uh, there are also a certain, um, a certain group of people that are not very easy to please. Um, but uh, we are we are told we cannot please everyone. So anyway, if uh, I I'm also a very forgetful. I'm um, not forgetful, forgiving person. And I, if I if I do anything wrong, I will also apologize. If I can't give you the questions, I mean the answers that you desire, I also want to say sorry to you because um, I'm just a mother. I'm just a home cook. I'm not trained in any way. I've never been to any culinary school or institute or college before. Everything is self learned So um, sometimes if you if you change a lot of the recipes, and it doesn't turn out the way you want it to be. Um, I have to say sorry and unfortunately the, the these are the questions that I cannot answer because I really do not know how to help because uh, you have changed the ingredients you have changed the ingredients yeah so um, these are some of the things that I want to share with you yeah and I hope you can understand um, that uh, I'm always here I'm always trying to be kind and to be generous so um, yeah so thank you so much um, for all your support all these years okay and uh, maybe you go and check the cookie it start to give you a good smell so so we must always be kind to one another okay um, always be kind to one another brown okay um depends on your oven my oven needs to rotate okay because she has actually made two trays of cookies one tray on top one tray at the, at the bottom and when you start to get a good smell from baking you would have to switch okay so now i'm going to switch it so that the the top one will go to the bottom the bottom one will go to the top okay hang on yeah will take a few more minutes okay remind mommy yeah the top cookies will take a few more minutes because it has actually browned very very nicely already so if you want to hang out for a little while more I will show you um, the the cookies okay and uh, yeah just hang on a little while more Mimi you have anything to talk to the aunties here they want to see you talk okay they want to see you talk Uh, yes, I have stopped for volume 1 to volume 5. Um, you can go to my website. I, I always encourage you to go to the website um, to purchase. Of course, I do understand that some of you uh, may not have, may not be so, um, how to say, so um, IT literate that you can uh, easily buy things online that you are so used to shopping online so I do accept bank in transfer like um, if you want to PM me or but um, I always encourage you to go to the website because the the amount of messages that comes in is tremendously high and uh, Sometimes I miss orders. I'm not young, okay? I'm not young. I cannot handle so much. People like to WhatsApp me, uh, want to transfer me. They want to send SMS, WhatsApp, SMS. They want to send me personal PM to my Facebook. They want to send messages to my Facebook page. There are so many places to check. And I will miss out your orders if... All these are coming in different different directions that's why I always encourage everyone to go to the website um, to to place your order okay there is less chances that I will forget about your order yeah 
I do forget. I do forget. Okay, so uh, yeah. People say hi. Hello. Hello. I want to eat what? Kido. What is kido? Kokido. No more. Oh, still have a bit. Don't, don't, don't go and eat. It's raw. She wants to eat the kokido. I think it's okay already, the koki. Shall we go and take out? You there? No. Hang on. This one looks done dancing dancing this one looks done okay so we will let it cool down then she will want to eat okay so we, we put this aside so I think everyone uh, don't won't have any problem making baking cookies I cannot bake very difficult or complicated or complex things okay um, but I can make simple things for me Food have to be tasty and delicious. It doesn't matter how you churn it out, yeah. Um, but it has to be tasty and flavorful. Okay, simple things can be flavorful as well. Okay, it's not necessary. You must be uh, a complex or, or or complicated things that only it will be tasty. Okay, food is about flavors always. So yeah. cannot let it let it cool down first um yeah so how long did we take okay just now is 36 right 35 now it's 50 54 35 to 55 about 20 minutes it's about 18 to 20 minutes depending on mm -hmm. oven so um yeah so you have to bake this in a preheated oven 180 degrees celsius for about 18 minutes to 20 minutes depending on oven some oven will take shorter time okay some oven will take shorter time my oven takes uh, about 18 minutes to 20 minutes okay so we have basically done with our live today i will need to cook lunch soon so uh thank you everyone for watching uh we will see you soon okay no um no plans yet for other lives this week we will see how so she is always tired elizabeth so i want to say goodbye to everyone here bye 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 bye